everyone good to move here um what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna work on a journal um if you saw my um what's on my desk video um i said that i had some uh gifts given to me in the recent challenge i was going to try and use them to make a journal i've already put some in a journal that i made the lace and beauty journal i used some little bits in that but i had a whole package from uh Caroline McKeeman. Caroline's up in Scotland and she very generously sent me this package uh, wrapped in lace with all these lovely papers. There's um, music paper, some book pages. Um, have a look at them because I haven't actually looked at them properly myself. So, so I'll say we've got the book paper, we've got some children's book pages. And I've got some nice um, botanicals there, colour and black and white. And then I sent all these lovely bits and pieces. The knitting pattern, some socks. Um, down here we've got some napkins. few napkins here and florals and dragonfly more florals and uh, like herbs one and then there's some cards um, that's a postcard some card postcards for colouring a card with an envelope, another card with an envelope and another, all very pretty and then I've got these bits of ephemera, um, some kind of voting thing, I'm not sure what that would have been but some kind of voting for a newspaper, um, some ephemera, it's a bingo card, vintage postcard some writing on the back, uh, there's an envelope, and it's just a blank card in there, it's probably just to keep the envelope nice, vintage envelope 1969 that's stamped, and there's some commemorative stamps from 1970, you can see them, see if you can see all these over in the frame. Um, some board game uh, scorecards there, some more lovely greetings cards with flowers, oh, some advertisements, um, postcards, these are good, and there's another one, and another one. Very 1950s, very retro. Oh, here's a pretty one. Some vintage. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's just some vintage images on a, on a card there. It's a plain postcard. And another postcard with some birds on. So there's lots of postcards. There's some trim. Some pretty blue and green trim. Some lace. Little ball pins on there. Some lovely trims. Eyelash trim. Lovely. Some thread. Some nice thread there. And then finally some washi tape and greens. That one's got butterflies on. That one's just like a kind of a leaf pattern. And then this tin. Full of lovely things. I'll just quickly go through these. There's some um, looks like board game cards and some playing cards there. Some ringy trims and little 
tiny playing cards, buttons, uh, brads, whatever the bit. All kinds of little fancy bits and pieces in there. So I'm going to try and use these to make a journal. And I'll be calling this journal Caroline. Um, so I'm going to use, and also this will be a piece of lace which I could possibly use on the cover or something. So I'm, what I'm going to do is, and I want you to come along with me if you want, is um, make a journal from all these. Some nice ribbon there, that, um, lace that it was tied in. So there's plenty of options there for covers. So I'm going to use these papers and all the ephemera and I'm just going to use some tea dye papers to go with that and, and make a journal. So I'm going to make the signatures first and then decide on what sort of cover to make afterwards. So I say I want you to come along with me on this one. I've got my cup of tea here. And I'm going to start this today. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit with you now on, uh, on camera. Um, and I'll probably just do a size that suits um, an A4 sheet just folded in half so I'll make the um, page book pages not fit with this so I'd have to um, take the book um, sorry the the music paper and then it would have to be cut to size for that but for now I'm just going to fold them and then obviously that will have to be trimmed off on the edge or I might just fold the edges in or I could fold that up and make a tuck spot so that's to be decided. So there'll be two of them. Um, probably do a couple of signatures. So there's quite a few pages here. And then these botanical pages will just be nice. Just folded in half. They can be. So it'll be quite an eclectic mix, there won't be a theme because we've got all kinds going on here. We've got florals, we've got some vintage, some retro, but uh, I think it'll be an interesting journal. And I like to use what people give me, it's nothing worse than just getting things and just putting them, just hoarding them. You need to need to use them. I really like these um, botanical pages so I'll probably just use them as um, as pages in the journal and they'll fit fine with that uh, piece of A4 and then I've got these three bears now I might not use these as pages I might make something else out of them so that's to be decided but they're definitely going to be pages of some sort so we've got one two three four five six seven there so we'll start building a few more of these and see how many we've got and then I can decide on the signatures that's eight nine ten eleven I think I might do 11, I might do two 8 page signatures, that's 12, just thinking on the, on the hoof here as we go along, uh, 14, that's 13, but 1, 2, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. And then I've got these slightly thicker and slightly smaller tea dyed papers, so I'll have a couple of them in there. It's like um drawing sketch paper. A 
that's been tea dyed. So that's 16 for now. So that'll be two. So let's divide these one into two. That's all the plain paper. One more, one more, one more, one more, and then a piece each of the pages. Oh, the music paper, sorry. So, so already you've got the makings of two signatures there. Um, and obviously I'm going to use... I might use that in here or I might leave that and use it for something else. I don't know yet. Um, but I'm definitely going to use these pages. So I've already got my two signatures more or less ready there. And then I'll probably incorporate some of these cards as as pages. Nice plain cards. So I might put the envelopes um, can go in as well. I might just incorporate a couple of the of these nice cards in so one of them in each signature and then the envelope can go um, one in each signature maybe yeah we'll do something with the envelopes probably incorporate them into the signatures as well yeah so there's lots of things here that I can use um, just look at me trim on the floor um, yeah there's lots I can use the postcards and that for embellishments. I can use them um, decoupage uh, napkins to do decoupage. And I've also got this sock pattern, which might not might not feature. So that's a maybe. But I think most of the other things that I've got here will work for embellishments. Um, so I'll put them to one side for now. So that's the first part. Um, signatures almost sorted so I'll get them cut to size um, or folded or whatever I'm going to do with them get them together in you know in the order that I want them and then we'll come back and do some embellishing so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon bye <laughs>